Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we're going to get you some important messages that you need to hear right now. Today is the 7th of March 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 7.53 a.m. Okay Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Important messages that Virgos need to hear right now. Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever could be in your energy field. And this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I love you guys so much. Oh boy, who is this? Not a sword at the bottom of the deck. Virgo, somebody's gonna try and run. This It's like running back, rushing back very quickly. Seven of swords. Now, this makes me feel like this is somebody who may have hurt you in the past. Three of swords. Virgo, there is a moon right here. It's a major arcana. So, bear in mind that... Major Arcanas always trump the minors. This is like, maybe, maybe not, okay? Just bear that in mind. And also, this is just a general reading. If you want to book a personal reading with me, all the, all the information is in the description box below. That is just for you and it's accurate. Now, the moon here indicates somebody may have really deep emotions and intentions to return as quickly as possible. But whether they do it or not, that's another thing. Because the four swords, it's... You know, this person is laying down, inactive, right? And with the Eight of Swords here as well. So this person may be thinking a lot, analyzing a lot, feeling stuck. Also, this is an inactive energy, right? And the Seven of Swords, there is a bit of an activity here. And it is, but it's a very sneaky uh, movement. So, and Swords indicates minds, uh, thoughts. Uh, knowledge information communication so in a very sneaky way it could be just somebody running away with their thought of uh, returning right will fortune asking for a second chance but they're not doing it it all wants in one verse it all wants in one verse there's a delay in them um, communicating taking actions towards you because the moon they have a lot of doubts in regards of returning but they think about it, and they want to, but they have a lot of doubts. How many of us have felt this way, right? We want to do something, but we have a lot of doubts. A lot of doubts, and we end up not doing it. But the energy is right here. Virgo, this person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, could be any fixed sign, some, some fire here, doesn't matter. It can be any sign. You all have multiple signs in our chart. And also, this is just a general reading. Now, we've got the Three of Swords right here. So, this person may be sad, feeling sad, heartbroken, and wanting to return, right? Wanting to heal things with you with the Star of Burst. But the thing is, again, it feels like this person has doubts whether or not that they should or shouldn't, if it's going to be successful, or if the outcome would be what they're looking for, okay? Strong, uh, strong air energy here. But uh, Virgo, it could also be you, Virgo. For some of you, you could be thinking about returning to someone, but you don't want to take actions um, because you're still hurt. Um, you feel stuck. You feel like if, if you are the one who is going to take actions towards them, then it's not going to be fair because the justice here is in lovers, right? I mean, again... I'm just giving you a vice versa scenario. Now, the justice here is in love verse. Maybe this person didn't treat you fairly. There's somebody here who is thinking about sneaking their way back into their life. But I don't see them taking any actions as of right now. I just feel like they are kind of delaying it because they're not sure if they should or shouldn't. Two of swords, indecisive, standing at the crossroad. Nine of swords. 
thinking a lot at night, overthinking, overanalyzing, but, and for some reason also for oh, this person may be upset with you or this is somebody who has upset you before this is a bit of an angry energy but it could also be you Virgo some of you could be feeling really upset really angry and just wants to block everyone out whoever who have like hurt you here in the past the star in reverse put you in a position where you feel like it is really hard for you to um, get over it um, or heal and the wheel of fortune is you trying to make a change um, some of you are maybe trying to change your approach when it comes to people change your approach when it comes to life but it feels like there are a lot of things that are kind of blocking it I see a lot of blockages here Virgo This is the current energy, however, this may have already happened in the past. Um, but let's see a bit more here. See, five of wands. You do have somebody who may want to return. But also, what I'm picking up on, Virgo, you may have somebody also who is holding a lot of grudges towards you and wanting to scream at you, shout at you, or, you know give them a give you a piece of their mind here because they feel hurt by you okay that's for some of you but it could also be you Virgo this is your reading so it could be you feeling like you really want to tell somebody off <clears throat> you're so upset with them but you don't know if it's such a good idea okay now spirits could be saying that it is your choice right two swords if you want to tell this person the truth how are you thinking how you're feeling and then only you can move on from it. Um, you can do that or you can forever hold your peace and move on from it, okay? We've got the Two of Cups right here, Five of Cups, Emma Verse, and the Ten of Cups. Again, I do see <clears throat> some of you, Virgo, excuse me. Some of you, Virgo, there's someone who wants to come in, right? Two of Cups, I want to see you again, want to uh, reconcile with you. And because I feel like Five Cups and One First, they may have started to see, you know, the glass half full, then it is half empty. But they don't know what to do. And the Ten of Cups, maybe they're starting to see there could be a future for the both of you. Okay. Reconciliation energy. But it could also be you, Virgo. You could be feeling like, I really want to know if we're going to reconcile or not. I really want to know if we're going to be together or not. I feel really stuck. I'm unsure. Five of Wands, feeling really conflicted in regards to what's going on. I just did a, a reading for you before this one. It's called, I think that the question was, if you should move on from somebody who has been, uh, whom you have been waiting for, okay? Check that, one, check that one out. It could be somehow I feel related to this reading. Um, for some of you, you know, Virgo, it could be you wondering, when is this person going to text me? When is this person going to come back around? I say, Virgo, this is just my personal opinion to wait for nobody, nobody at all. Always move forward, baby steps, okay? Always, always do the best that you can to move forward because time is something that you can't, that you cannot get back okay and when you keep waiting for somebody you're connected to them energetically you are not allowing the new energies to come in um, <clears throat> that makes you you that might end up making you miss an opportunity that would have actually been good for you i i know i'm a virgo i wait for nobody i keep moving forward that if they come back they come back but most times when they come back, I'm not interested anymore, okay? So but I do see somebody here has been thinking a lot about returning. But it's a very, in a very sneaky way, yeah. Um, and they're, they're doubting whether they should or shouldn't. For some reason, I feel like they do have intention to want to have a second chance with you and the Ten of Cups here. They do feel like they do entertain with the thought of maybe there could be a future for me and Virgo. Um, but 
there's still so many doubts here the moon maybe the doubts are overweighing the the pros the the cons are overweighing the pros for some reason okay could be anything travel wants the party situation friends family internal factors external factors you know meddling or you know coming in between the two of you Virgo, this is your reading. If you want a personal reading that is accurate and it's just for you, for further confirmation, all of my information is in the description box below. You can book me. And for those of you who don't know, I do have a main channel. It's called Chelsea Love Tarot. I usually go live on that channel and do prediction reading, whether it's weekly or monthly. In fact, I've posted um, a weekly prediction reading for you, Virgo. And I post every now and then like shorts as well on that channel. Check it out if you want to. You can go ahead and subscribe to that one. And um, on this channel, Virgo, if you want to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care, Virgo. Love you. Bye.